Hi, my name is Beth Tuminello, Mrs. T Chem Talk Teacher Tech, I'm making a series of videos for help with distance learning and remote learning using technology, I'm trying to just share what I learned in the spring during the period of distance learning. So what this is going to be about today um, is about using a Bitmoji and Bitmoji Classroom to make a screen share background that you can use for Zoom or Google Meet, or even to record or pre-record videos of little lesson um, clips. If you wouldn't mind just taking a moment to like and subscribe, and if you wanna turn on your notifications, you can find out when new videos are coming. I am making a series of videos for this topic. So what we're going to talk about today is how to make something like this. I really like to have this big screen because what I feel like I can do is then I can just open up this screen and then write on this screen using my Wacom tablet and Wacom pen so that this way if I'm explaining something it'll have more of a feeling like I am teaching on the board to my students. So I still have this little, this these pieces of a Bitmoji classroom over here, which connects back to my main Bitmoji classroom, which has pictures of my kids on my desk and my computer and my periodic table and desks and things like that. But this has all of this great space for me to draw on. So what we're going to do is open up a Google Slides presentation, and we're just going to do something that I like to call like a Bitmoji Classroom light. It's just going to be a very, very small piece of making a Bitmoji Classroom. And if you already have a Bitmoji Classroom made, you can actually just use the elements from your Bitmoji Classroom and then um, just drag them over. So for example, what I did I copied my Bitmoji person and I put the two pictures of my kids on a table and I put my periodic table. I just copy and pasted it. And then in my classroom at school, I do have a poster that says this with the Think Like a Proton. You can find a lot of posters if you just do insert image, search from the web, and then search for it. Um, and then I also, this is Marie Curie. She's just a famous female, uh, is a famous female scientist. I have my light switches. Back here is my fire extinguisher. But what I'd like to talk about what I did here is how most of the backgrounds have a really large floor. And if you look here, you'll see that the floor goes very far back in the slide. But I didn't want that because I wanted most of my slide to be taken up with white space. So what you're going to do just like at the start of any Bitmoji classroom slide, the first thing that you're going to do is you are going to change the background. And you are going to choose an image. And I apologize. You're going to choose the background. Um, you're going to click choose image. And you're going to go to Google image search. And you can look for floor wall background, which is a lot of what people look for. And you really want to look for ones that have a lot of wall and not a lot of floor. But let's just say, for example, that you like one that has a lot of floor. I'm going to take you through how to fix that. So I'm just going to try to find one that I like, and of course I've scrolled down too far. Let's just pick this one and let's insert it. So now this is the same one that I have here and you can see that it works really well for a classroom where it's deep, but it doesn't work for this. So all I do before I put my Bitmojis in is I insert shapes. So I'm going to insert a shape and I'm going to insert a rectangle and I am going to make one of the rectangles be filled in
with a color, and that color will be my wall color. Now I like the color blue, but let's say your classroom wall is yellow and you wanna make that one yellow. So now you're gonna slide this over. You're going to layer your posters on there. So you can do insert image, search from web, and I would write periodic table. And I would, let's say I picked this one and I do that. Now I'm going to size it. This actually might be the exact same one that's in there. And I'm going to size it so that it fits here on my yellow part here. And I'm going to scooch it up as far as I can with still having it. And I also want it to cover all that blue. I want this yellow to cover all that blue. So now when I go back, I see that that blue is still showing. So I just wanna move this over just a teeny tiny bit because I want that blue to not really be part of this at all. Even if it hangs over when you hit present, anything that's outside shouldn't show up. Um, so it won't look like if I'm just gonna test this for a second, you don't see the part that overlapped on the, the left hand side. So now I'm just going to move this over just so it fits in the yellow. And then to make my board over here, I am gonna get rid of my titles and my subtitles just so that they're not in my way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a shape again insert another rectangle and I'm going to start right here and I'm going to be really careful to make the bottom line up with my wall and the right hand side go all the way to the edge of the slide. And now if I just scooch that up a little bit, take the click outside of it so that you can see if you have any, any border issues, you can slide it up because you don't wanna see any of that blue wall and you don't wanna see a blue space between these either. So maybe make this one of them a little bit bigger. There you go. And now what happens, and even if you make it beyond the slide, that's fine. Because again, when you hit present, you are going to wind up not seeing what's off the page. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to order, bring to front, just so that I can size it to make it fit just on that yellow page, uh, that yellow piece. And I'm going to do this, slide it down a little bit because I want it inside the slide. And then I can add my posters. I can go over to my other Bitmoji page and copy my person and paste it into the slide. I just did a command, um, I just did a, a command V, or you could do a right click or two fingers on your trackpad. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna slide my person over and just populate what I put over here. And really you can decide on whatever posters you want. You can insert images. Um, and like I said, what I did was, because I'm a science teacher, I put in a fire extinguisher. And so in order to get, uh, to put this on here without having to do a background removing program, remember you're just always going to put in the word transparent before the image that you want. And I can just drag over a fire extinguisher. What I like to do also is I like to double click and then just drag these black Oops, I did that wrong. Drag from these black bars because then you can make the borders of the picture smaller and it makes it a little easier to drag them around. Resize, put it over on my wall here, close the picture so I can see this a little bit. So now I have my fire extinguisher hanging up. Some of the other things I did, I just searched for a poster, I put this text in, I went back here and I, um, I, I found my, 
pictures on my desk and I highlighted and I copied and I brought that over and oh, I only brought over the word hot dog. Um, but I, I was able to copy and paste each of these to put on the table. I searched for a transparent table. And then what you notice is that even though the floor was much bigger on this background, um, I made it smaller. Oops, and I want to be in front of my fire extinguisher. So I'm just going to do order bring to front. And I can even, um, if I don't put a whole lot of stuff, I can even move my board over a little bit. So it looks like it's a wall here. Um, the other option is just to fill the entire slide with um, using this white rectangle. And then when you go to present, it looks like you are just standing in front of the board. So if you want to do more of a minimalist approach here with just your Bitmoji and maybe, um, you know, just a table, like for me, the periodic table would be the most important as a chemistry teacher. I could even go ahead and just get rid of this fire extinguisher and just say, hey, you know what? When I do my Zoom classes or my Google Meet classes, maybe I really, maybe I just want to do something like this. And it keeps the connection of the Bitmoji character, but I now have all of this great space to write on to do my problems. I can even copy and paste the text of a problem or copy and paste a diagram into this before presenting. And then when I'm sharing my screen, I have the Bitmoji to do the connection piece, the connecting with the students, but I also have all this great white space to write on. So hopefully this was something that was helpful. This was the Mrs. T Chem Talk teacher tech for using Bitmojis to make a screen share background, which would be great for Google Meet or a Zoom meeting, even great for an explanation video. Uh, my name is Beth Tumanello. Hope this was helpful. Please like and subscribe. And if you want to turn on your notifications, I will be doing more of these videos, um, you know, over the next week or so or week or two to try to help everybody learn what I learned during remote learning. Thanks a lot.